Hi everyone, thanks very much for watching. Here we are, top table debates. One thing we definitely can't talk about with a bunch of young people in politics is votes at 16. We have to talk about it. Looks like it might be happening in the future. It's happened now in Wales, in uh, council elections, and I think in local elections there, and the same in Scotland. Is it coming to Northern Ireland? Luke, you ran for Member of Youth Parliament yeah. entirely on this mm -hmm. issue, didn't you? Yeah, it was my big issue, it was my, my key policy, and I do think in Northern Ireland, votes at 16 are def is definitely going to happen in the short term future. Uh, there is a growing consensus within the youth population in Northern Ireland, especially the 14 to 18 year old age, I'm not suggesting lowering the voting age to 14, however this is where the education and the political movement is starting to develop from in Northern Ireland. And I think if the photo sexting was introduced in Northern Ireland, this would encourage a less anti-sectarian uh, style of politics, a politics that is friendlier, a politics <laughs> that will get stuff, more, uh, get stuff done, and a politics that is more, rem uh, more reminiscent of politics. What are you, Saria? Why shouldn't Luke be able to vote? Um, well, I firstly would say not necessarily that Luke shouldn't be able to vote. I think that to give votes to all 16-year-olds would be a problem and Why? the way we filter that because I don't think that they are capable of making properly informed decisions because of our lack of education on politics so I think that if we were introduced mandatory and I'd say this actually not just for 16 but year olds, olds haven't had no, that education I was, that's either. what I was about to say uh, it's not they? just for 16 year olds I think that before you're allowed to join the electoral register that there should be a mandatory politics lesson. Jack, you're against as well. I mean, do yeah, you I, while Luke is a wonderful and well-spoken individual, I don't believe every 16-year-old is like that. From personal experience of being a 16-year-old, I was not in any way, I would even have thought, capable of making the proper choice at that point. And a lot of the people I knew in school and that kind of background would have been very, very open to just, you know, oh, my mommy says she's vote for the DUP, I'm going to do that. And then they'll be doing that for the rest of their life. But you don't think 18-year-olds would do that as well? Some of them, but at the same time, a lot of 18-year-olds are, like myself, out of the house, gone. The parents, while they have an influence, it is lessened. And it's very much, they have the more experience, they have a bit more of a background. There's always they know influences. Yes. There are always influences of vote. There's community influences, of there's celebrity there influences, there's parental influences, there's peer influence. We can't stop all influence. Oh, we can't stop all influence. So I'm saying at 16, we can hopefully, or by 18, the parental influences caused a continual buildup of sectarian politics, hopefully will be lessened, even if it is not gone because, you know, it's here. Let me ask you something, Aidan. We've yeah. been talking a little bit about how the results of possibly l lowering uh, the franchise to yeah. 16 would result in a less sectarian Northern Ireland. Yeah, Do you think it's like right it. to go about this debate by talking about results? Well, I think, I mean, it's very definitely apt to discuss results, especially seeing as we have seen countries implement things like that. For example, in Scotland, they were allowed to vote uh, on the referendum, and we know that they shaped they shaped the outcome substantially. See, what we know is when we allow people to vote at 16 and 17 years old, we, once they hit 18 and 19 and 20, these people are more informed because they, they understand the power of the vote by the time they're an adult, by the time they're uh, considered an adult by all standards. Speaking more specifically, for example, you know, uh, the age limit to join the army, etc. I would actually argue that things need to be heightened, the age restrictions need to be heightened for things. Um, I would say... Oh, stop babying everyone. You're no, sorry, no, yeah. I'm serious. People aren't mentally capable. I mean, it, it's, you know, it, it's scientifically proven that your brain is not developed until a certain age and I don't think that you should be allowed so to be given responsibilities I if you can't <laughs> rationalise properly. But there are people with who are the uh, With the risk of shooting my own side in the foot, your brain isn't fully developed until you're 21, so I think you're the my only one on this panel. Exactly, my case exactly. You're the only one here really whose brain is fully developed. Well, doesn't I'm it show? <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we can't kind of we can't say that specific people have the brain capacity to uh, to be qualified to vote. We can't. I mean, well, then that we just bring the thing entirely down. No, no, uh, at obviously. All. Uh, but then obviously you're obviously saying not, there is some uh, point then. Th yeah, there's yeah. A, there's a point before. This is technically a point before adulthood. Mm -hmm. I understand that there's a point when your brain becomes developed enough to make decisions. We uh, we as a government. Uh, as a, a people who are governed, so the, uh, there's a the legal point of responsibility, I believe, in Northern Ireland is 10 years old. Yeah. If you're saying then, as soon as you're responsible for your actions, you should be allowed to vote. Can we let 10 year olds vote? Uh, well, I, I, the, the, the big problem there is that it, it is so low, and that's something that definitely needs to be brought up. Well, I don't why think not, it's why not hold on, hold on, hold on. Why not 15? I think we need to have some uh, realization, really, and have some common sense. 
the leaving age for school is 16, the age for joining the army is 16, the age for paying your taxes well, you is 16. you can't actually go to war, you can, I believe. No, you can't go, go to war, war. and, and the age to smoke is 16. Even though you can't buy cigarettes, you can still smoke. So I think it is very important that we have to have some realisation. 16 is the basis for a lot of things, including marriage, even though you do have to have parental approval. So uh, is it all about being informed, politically informed, is that it? Well, I mean, obviously it does. We know factually that it generates a more informed uh, Vote, uh, based on what studies? Based on Scotland. What? Uh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm aware that there are other European countries. I'm not sure what what they what the names of them are. But we know that the there is there is. Here's a more my problem with this, guys. Brain. Here's my problem with this. Is I think I think no matter what way you fall on this, it's a really bad idea to go into a debate about this, talking about what the results are going to be. Yeah. yeah. Because it should be the principle rather than what the end results might be. Well, I mean, we're discussing, obviously, we're sitting here discussing results, but I mean, obviously, the principle is if someone's able to make a, a life decision like deciding that they're going to grow up t to kill people, that if they're, if they're allowed to, you know, be on our streets and, and pay taxes to the government, if they're allowed to involve themselves in all of these things that adults are allowed to May involve I just interject? In, why should we base these off other things? Why can't they be subjective? Why do we have to say, well, you know, you can do this at that age and you can do that at this age, so you should be able to do that because, at this age? But, because they're not the same. Because, so you're saying that being a parent holds less responsibility than holding a vote? You're saying that it holds less responsibility to be put behind the wheel of no. a two-ton weapon? than no. it does to be able to vote for uh, an elected representative in your area. Because no, I, I feel like these things, these things don't, take, don't take less responsibility than voting. They take about the same. I, 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 I want to ask a question to Luke here as well, because I think it's really interesting when you find somebody who's for and against any opinion, that you've obviously weighed up things and come to a, a balanced decision, which is that you think that 16-year-olds should be able to vote. What are the downsides in your mind? Because there are downsides to everything. Yeah, I think the downsides would be that it could be corrupted by schools. If you are in a school in certain areas of Belfast or in certain areas of the country where integrated education is not there, there's nothing to say that the governors of the school cannot enforce a policy to ensure that teaching is taught in that way. But coming back to Nassaria's point earlier about uh, why should they can't go to war and why should they go to war and why is that not balanced with other things. The, the party that you vote for when you're six, when you, if you can't vote at 16, the party you vote for sets the, the foreign uh, policy, <coughs> sets mm -hmm. the, the tax bans. Mm -hmm. So why can you not vote for something that directly affects your life day in, day out? Well, I understand that, but as I say, my case is that I don't think that people at 16 uh, are responsible enough yeah. to so make so that do decision think, to vote. Do you, I don't think you, they do are. Do you think that at, at 16 years old, you're 16 years old now, are your friends mature enough to vote? I don't think, really? it's, I don't think it's a matter, really, because there's 18-year-olds who are not mature enough. There's 25-year-olds who are not mature enough. There are people from all walks of life who are not mature enough. What, but 18 what is, is the, the age what, of adulthood. Yes, but what is the maturity level in this 21st century, 2018 Northern Ireland? What do we classify as maturity? I feel like a lot of the, the arguments that we're using, we're not actually looking for the historical precedent when similar arguments were being made. Uh, for example, the, the argument, uh, something I've heard a lot, that, that children be uh, more easily influenced, or that ch uh, younger people, people between 16 and 17, are, are hormonal and things like that, are the same arguments that people were using to restrict women from voting. I think what we have to do is we have to understand that this argument exists in the context of a much wider argument of who and who, sh who should be and who should not be eligible to decide what happens all right, in the country. All right, Jack's got the final word here because we really uh, have to finish up. Fair enough. I want to pick up on something Luke said. I went to a very Protestant school, we'll put it that way, and uh, if the people in my school had been able to vote, <coughs> as actually some of them were towards the end of the year, they were very, very influenced by the teachers, not just the curriculum they taught, but the fact that it was Protestant school, all your peers Protestant, everybody voted DUP, well... But then again, everybody's influenced in Northern Ireland. Hold on. Everybody's influenced in Northern Ireland. Well, it looks like we haven't come to a decision again. The debate will continue. If you want to come to a top table debate night, or even be part of the big top table show on BBC One, email us now, toptable at bbc.co.uk.